What's up guys, Vince the Longineer here. In this video, we're gonna make some modifications to the Petra HD 4000 battery powered backpack sprayer. So stay tuned. For my day job, I'm a civil engineer and I'm a huge advocate for process and efficiency. So when I'm out working in the yard, I tend to apply the same process and efficiency to lawn care. And one of my favorite things to use that improves the time it takes to get things done are quick connect fittings. As you can see here on my Ely hose reel, I have utilized their quick connect fittings on pretty much everything and they are awesome. I use them to quickly hook up to the hose bib, my sprinkler, my pistol spray gun, my watering nozzle, my hose end sprayer, and other off the shelf hose end products. And after seeing some videos posted by Justin the Lawn Whisperer with his Quick Connect gun style sprayer setup, it gave me the idea to retrofit my sprayer setup in a similar way to improve my own process and efficiency when spraying in the yard. I'll leave a link to Justin's channel below. Make sure you go check him out. He's a super cool dude. In addition, I would like to upgrade to T-Jet nozzles. I picked up the fan tip nozzle for foliar applications and the air induction tip for soil applications. Now, before we get started with the retrofit, I want you to know that if you just wanna to upgrade to T-Jet nozzles, you do not need any additional parts besides the nozzles themselves. But note that the yellow cap on the Petra one does not seem to be a perfect fit with the nozzles at first. And what I mean is that the T-Jet tips seem to only fit if aligned perfectly with the opening of the yellow cap. I'll admit the first time I tried inserting the T-Jets in the stock Petra wand, I immediately thought it was not compatible and gave up on using the stock parts. But after seeing a post on Instagram from Lalo over at Major Look Lawn Care using the stock Petra parts, I had to ask how he got it to work. And that's one of the things I love most about this lawn care community is that mostly all of the people that I've interacted with are positive and willing to help and share knowledge. Thanks, Lalo. Make sure you go check out his Instagram page and give him a follow. The yellow cap is somewhat thin and a bit malleable. And after playing around with it for a while, you can rotate the T-Jet nozzles within the cap with no problem. All right, now on to my custom retrofit. So I purchased a bunch of fittings that will give me a few options while spraying. Shout out to Sean's Midwest Lawns for sending me a parts list to get me started with this retrofit. Go check him out on Instagram as well. Let me show you what we have, and as always, everything is listed and linked in the description below for your convenience. Let's start with the initial setup that I was thinking of. Starting at the handle from right to left, you will need a spare gasket that comes with your sprayer. You'll also need this small brass wand connector for black handle adapter that is available on Petra's website. I put this in quotes since that's actually the name of the item on their website. Then you'll need this quarter inch male NPT quick connect coupler. Moving on, I also picked up this 17 inch pressure washer extension wand. This is optional and I'll come back to this later after we put everything together. You will also need the thread seal tape that comes with the sprayer. And finally, the T-Jet quick release assemblies. For the first assembly from top to bottom, we have a quarter inch NPT female quick connect plug, followed by a quarter inch 45 degree T-Jet nozzle body that holds the strainer. Next, we have another Petra gasket that comes as a spare with your sprayer. Then your T-Jet tip. For this assembly, I'm using the air induction tip. And to cap it all off, we have the T-Jet cap. The second assembly is nearly identical. The only difference is that it will have a different tip. On this assembly, it's the 110 degree extended range flat spray tip. Now let's put it all together. Assembly is pretty straightforward here. The most important thing is to wrap all threads with thread seal tape to prevent leaks. Other than that, we're just screwing everything together. I'm working slightly out of the frame here, but really just working on getting all the threads sealed with the tape. While you're watching me put everything together here, 
If you like what you see so far and are not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to be notified of new content. As we're assembling the T-Jet Quick Connect nozzles, you'll see that I'm adjusting the rotation of the actual nozzle to make sure that the fan pattern is parallel to my shoulders as I'm holding the wand in front of me while spraying. And just a quick note on these little blue strainers. I'm not totally convinced they are absolutely necessary, and I'm actually concerned that they may cause issues when spraying the thicker products like biostimulants. But they weren't that expensive, so I picked them up anyway. And if they cause any issues, I can easily pull them out. Now that it's all together, let's see how it performs. The first thing I notice is how much heavier this setup is. In fact, it is so heavy that the center of gravity has moved about six inches forward on the wand. For this style handle, it means that the wand falls forward, forcing the trigger to press into the palm of your hand, which activates the pump. To prevent this from happening, I have to hold the wand a bit differently like this with my index finger wrapped around the bottom portion of the wand. This is a bit uncomfortable for me, but I might be able to get used to it with time. But I have another option for you, and here it is. Just remove the wand extension and insert the T-Jet right at the end of the handle. Now, you'll have to be extra careful when spraying with this setup since the spray is much closer to your body. You don't want the product spraying back onto your body as you are walking. I think the perfect setup would be to replace the handle with a gun style type. However, I could not find the compatible fittings to adapt with the threads from the Petra unit. Another reason why I stopped exploring additional options was because of cost. I mean, this setup right here cost me between $60 and $70, and I I just didn't want to put much more time, energy, or effort into this project, to be quite frank. If you have done a similar retrofit, let me know what worked for you in the comments below. <laughs> Testing it out with a bit of water, and it works. There was a leak in one of the fittings, and that's because the brass adapter I picked up from Petra is a bit short and does not allow for the full length of the quarter-inch MPT coupler to thread through and into the adapter. So I added a bit more thread seal tape and tightened it a bit more and I was all set, no more leaks. I think this setup will work well for years to come, and you'll definitely see me spraying with this new setup in future videos for sure. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.